Hey YouTube, Michael Futures. Sorry about the last video I made. I didn't have um, good audio. I'm still new at this. I'm practicing, getting better. The video was about Python coding and backtesting strategies and pulling data. So say you, t you have a strategy that you like on TradingView. Um, you want to you wanna turn it into a bot and connect it to an exchange and just test it before you do it. Show you where to get the data. What I do is I go to Yahoo Finance. You can see here, apply, download, and I bring it over here. You see I have the ETH file here, boom. I have the ETH up here in my code. I import the libraries that I want to need. I need, say, it's pandas, back testing, the indicators, the strategies, the signals, all that stuff. I import it. I make a data frame. I class signal trailing strategy, my functions, and then I run it. And my back test will tell you when I started and when I ended. So I did a one year test from May 30th, 2002 till May 30th, 2023, 365 days. The strategy that I ran was positive 6%. And if you have just held Ethereum in that year, you would be down 4%. So the strategy I ran beat buying and holding by 10%. Here's the equity curve. It will show you where you buy, where, where was bearish, where was bullish, the volume, your peak, your final, your drawdowns, all that good stuff. So we'll chart it all out for you right here. So I'm using VS Code, I'm using Python language, backtesting, pandas, libraries, Yahoo Finance CSV files to pull data. Um, that should do it. You know, let me see. I don't know if I have trading view up. I do use chat GPT. If you get stuck, there's no problem using chat GPT for things. You know, it helps some AI. If you get stuck on some questions. So ChatGPT is your friend, Python is your friend, VS Code, Yahoo, Files, all that stuff is your friend. And then TradingView here is what I use. So that will do it. We'll wrap it up. And um, hopefully this audio is better if you have any questions. You know, you can code in TradingView. It's PineScript. You'd have to convert it into Python connected to your exchange then. But this is, I prefer Python personally. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Thank you.